Let's take a look at another Cassandra query where we're doing something that seems intuitive and normal, but is actually a little slower than it needs to be. Now, here we're selecting actor, release here, and title from movies by actor. We do a little mapping of that in the third line, and then we call group by key. That's going to group all of these movies by actor and year, and then we perform some more operations on that there. Easy enough. but. Group by key is going to incur a shuffle. We're pulling the data out of Cassandra, then shuffling it, then performing actions on it. If we could avoid that shuffle, we'd like to. Let's look at how. We see we made actor and release year the key. Now, if you look in the schema off to the right, actor and release year are the partition key and one of the clustering columns. This data is already grouped in Cassandra. We don't have to pull it out and have Spark shuffle it so that it's grouped the way we want it. Uh, we could get that out of Cassandra pre-grouped for our convenience. And we have two methods that can help us out here. These are span by key and span by. Now, span by key is a method we're going to use rather than the group by key transformation. And it's going to push that grouping to be done into Cassandra. And it's going to assume that the key in the Cassandra query is the key that we want to group by in our grouping. Span by is very similar, except we can pass an anonymous function into it and specify what we want the key to be. Now, for this to work as a Cassandra optimization, we still have to be picking columns that are in the Cassandra key. We don't get to pick from arbitrary columns in the table. But if we don't want the default key structure of that table, we want to do something to modify still picking from within the partition key and the clustering keys, then span by is the thing we want. And let me stress again that these only work as optimization when we're grouping by columns that are a part of the partition key or our clustering keys. We can't do this to group by arbitrary columns because then it wouldn't be a Cassandra optimization because Cassandra doesn't do that. If you have to do that, you can still group by key on any column in your Cassandra query, but then it will be Spark doing that in the normal way. So when you want to group by things that are Cassandra primary key columns, use the optimized methods, and that work gets done in Cassandra rather than in Spark. Let's take a look at the code for a couple of different solutions. Here we have the same query, getting actor, release here, and title from movies by actor. We have the same key structure on the third line, making actor and year the key and title the value. And then we call span by key. That's going to do the same thing as group by key would have. It's going to make actor and release year the key and then a collection of titles will be the value. And you can see that down in the sample output below. In the second example, we do something similar, but we use span by instead. Same query where we select actor, release here, and title from movies by actor, but then we call span by, and we say we want the key to be actor and year. You'll notice that the output is different. I'll go ahead and flip back quickly to the output we saw in the previous example, where the key was simply a list of the values. We see The Tourist and Alice in Wonderland in 2010, Into the Woods, Transcendence, and Tusk in 2014. Now we see those same things in the data here, but all of the columns, including the key columns in the output. Just a detail in the implementation of those two things. That's a good idea to keep your eye on.